Which hepatitis is most serious? As you know, hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. When the liver is inflamed, it isn't able to play its part in keeping you healthy. Moreover, liver is interrelated with kidney, heart as well as brain once liver goes weak then complications created with other organs simultaneously. I think everyone should know about which hepatitis virus is most dangerous and why. This video explains step by step. So please watch till end of the video. Before started I would request, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel and join our community so that we will update you about hepatitis disease information through our community. If you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel with press bell icon. If you like this video please press like button. If you have any questions or suggestions please message on comment box. Liver is the powerhouse. The liver is a powerhouse of the body. Liver has many functions include filtering wastes from the blood, regulating iron and glucose stores, blood clotting, fighting infections, protect from toxic and chemicals and more. Types of hepatitis viruses. There are five main hepatitis viruses, referred to as types A, B, C, D and E these five types are of greatest concern because of the burden of illness and death they cause and the potential for outbreaks and epidemic spread. Hepatitis A. Hepatitis A signs and symptoms typically don't appear until you've had the virus for a few weeks. But not everyone with hepatitis A develops them. Hepatitis A virus, have, is a positive strand RNA virus classified in the genus Hepatovirus of the family Picornaviridae. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B virus, HBV, is a partially double-stranded DNA virus. This virus is a member of the Hepatna virus family. It has also been suggested that it may increase the risk of liver cancer, HCC and pancreatic cancer. Hepatitis C. HCV is a small enveloped RNA virus belongs to the family Flaviviridae and genus Hepatchi virus. Hepatitis C causes liver inflammation, sometimes leading to serious liver damage. The hepatitis C virus, HCV, spreads through contaminated blood and fluids. Hepatitis D. As per WHO report, hepatitis D infection cannot occur in the absence of hepatitis B virus. HDV-HBV co-infection is considered the most severe form of chronic viral hepatitis due to more rapid progression towards hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC, liver cancer or cirrhosis. Hepatitis E. HCV is a single-stranded ribonucleic acid, RNA, virus. There is no specific treatment for hepatitis E most of the time. People get better on their own. An important exemption to this is people who are pregnant. Hepatitis E infection during pregnancy can be very serious and even fatal. Hepatitis B and D co-infection. If a person with hepatitis B and hepatitis D infection, then that can be prevented by hepatitis B immunization. But the patient's condition will be very worse and treatment success rates will be low. Hepatitis D makes hepatitis B worse. Hepatitis D virus, HDV, is a virus that requires hepatitis B virus, HBV, for its replication. Hepatitis D makes hepatitis B worse. People with hepatitis B and D get cirrhosis, liver failure, and cancer in a quick way than if they only had hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is highly contagious. Ensure that if one person in the family has hepatitis B, chances of others having it are very high. It is important to screen them for the virus before vaccination because the vaccines can only protect uninfected patients. Hepatitis B and C is more deadly. There are five main hepatitis viruses, of which B and C is the most fatal as these can lead to liver cirrhosis and cancer. They both spread through contamination of blood by infected blood or blood products. People living with chronic hepatitis B are susceptible to hepatitis delta. Hepatitis D virus required hepatitis B virus for its replication. 
Hepatitis D or Delta is considered to be the most severe form of hepatitis because of its potential to quickly lead to more serious liver disease than hepatitis B alone. There are 15 to 20 million people are co-infected and living with hepatitis B and D in the world. Why hepatitis B is more dangerous than hepatitis C? Hepatitis B is highly contagious and cause liver cancer or failure without any signs or symptoms sometime and there is no medicine to cure as of now. But HCV is a single-stranded ribonucleic acid, RNA, virus. Today treatment is available in the market to cure hepatitis C completely as approved by FDA. Hepatitis B is the most dangerous than others. Hepatitis B is highly contagious and most dangerous because it is a silent infection, which means it can infect people without them knowing it. As report said, hepatitis B is account for more than 60% of all liver cancers in the world. Difficult to cure hepatitis B. First of all, chronic hepatitis B virus is potentially lead to liver cirrhosis and cancer. As per trusted source around 90% of infants with this virus developed a chronic infection. If it is chronic then the virus continues to attack the liver over time without detection, resulting in irreversible liver damage. Why it is difficult to cure? Chronic hepatitis B hasn't been cured so far and research is going on to cure 100% currently. But as such there is no medicine to cure completely. Because current therapies have failed to destroy the viral reservoir of HBV DNA, where the virus hides in the cell. Hepatitis B is most threatening. Hepatitis B goes beyond cloning itself to reproduce and instead inserts itself into the healthy cell's DNA. This is a more threatening process because it is much harder to destroy the hepatitis B cell when it takes root at the DNA level. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel. Please share with us in the comment box if you have any new tips or ideas about hepatitis B infection are welcome.